Mr. Brown, can you explain why your party propaganda chooses to misguide the public by embellishing your focus on environmentalism and social justice, while in fact the Green Party's manifesto is significantly biased to political outcomes which are anti-business and promote wealth redistribution rather than wealth creation? Well, um, thank you for that question. You know, we're the one party in the parliament. Uh, I've been working to have the uh, mining tax outcome, which is for a, a percentage reduction in the tax for big business and small business, converted into a 5% reduction for small business. Now, that is a conversion, if you like, of, of wealth, because it's small business that's the big employer in this country and employs four or five times as many people as the mining industry, for example. Doesn't create uh, the same level of wealth, though, does it? Uh, well, I think it does. Uh, let's take the Great Barrier Reef. Six billion dollar economy, 68,000 people employed, and they're locals. And they put their money back into the economy. Biggest threat? Six mega coal ports. From Clive Palmer, Gina Reinhart, Ch uh, China first mine, this massive mine. Uh, that Clive Palmer's into with 50% equity from China, 50% of the, the building wherewithal has got to come from China. We've got 88,000 people in the country who have been brought here uh, to do jobs which it said Australians can't do. And I spoke to a TAFE worker uh, this evening at my hotel and she said it's just so hard in TAFE. Why is it? Because the mining industry isn't paying a proper mining tax. If it was, we'd have proper education funding in this country. Okay. And, and, and I just could add, Tony, yep. and 80% of the profits are flowing out of the country. They're not staying in the country like small business. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm not uh, shy about backing small business in this country. I'll just make one point, though, that uh, China that's taking all that coal you're talking about is going to be burning that coal. And, of mm. course, they're the ones you're relying on to be part of this global agreement to lower emissions. Yeah, uh, that, that's absolutely the case. And that's why we think the export of coal should be phased out. We should be exporting uh, our renewable energy wherewithal uh, instead. But there's mega money to be made by largely foreign-owned shareholders out of digging up the coal. And where are they digging up from? Farmlands in this country. And the coal seam gas is coming out of farmlands and the 40,000 drill holes into the Darling Downs. And the Minister for the Environment, Tony Burks, just ticked off on the world's biggest coal mine at Wendowan, same region, 11 kilometres across, which is going to have a massive impact on greenhouse gases when that's burnt elsewhere in the world, and have, uh, including on our own farm producing lands in this country. There is something totally out of whack about the way in which uh, we view e economics and, and the riches of our resources uh, in this lucky country of ours. And the Greens, I think, are a great responsible balancer to the fact that the big parties have got it wrong. Okay, this is Q&A with Bob Brown answering your questions.